thought I wasn't gonna play this game again. But this tank, I mean, look at it. It's ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. It's a barn with a giant gun. Look at it. It's, uh, reminds me a lot of the GW Tiger. Both in direct fire and range of motion on the gun. Yes, there we go. What do I do it the other way? No. Yeah. All right. And then circle with load shifting. Yes. Yes. Thanks. All right. Sweet Jesus, what is going on here? I think I like this one more. No. Yeah, it's that one. Uh, circle, crosshair one, crosshair two. No, that, what am I doing? Okay, there, circle one. Okay. Yeah, I'm on the test server, so I'm gonna mess around. I didn't install XVM, but should be fine. Make sure the game won't be too loud. No, that's too much. Well, that ought to do. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, so I'm going to go over modules real quick. I went with vents, rammer, and the gun laying drive. Now, I normally go optics because with uh, recon and awareness and brotherhood in arms and optics and vents, you can hit 500 base. Well, I mean, that's before any modifiers, but that's besides the point. Uh, you can hit 500 base, which is fine, except uh, I feel gun laying drive is better, especially in a team setting and considering the speed of the vehicle, but enough of that, let's uh, let's play a little bit. I think I've played this map yet. <sighs> Probably shouldn't make videos at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. Yawning's rude. I mean, look, look how gigantic this thing is. It's bigger than most artillery pieces, which is just silly. Oh, and because it's the test server, I have a very large ping, so I hope I don't humiliate myself. uses the train car as cover. You know, I wonder. I might be being a noob here, but... I wonder if I can do too fat. The um, the 
gun is a uh, slow aimer and the gun like drives help. Oh, it doesn't help that I'm lagging. Uh, tank that has three center a lot plus lag never does well. Of course I'm just I'm just making excuses for being a shitbird, so. Alright, so if I start if I put my crosshair here, then when they get spotted, oh Visionary targets beware. fuck did I even... You know what? Whatever. It happens. Ready to fire! Our cannon is hit! I'm gonna save my repair kit. Where did the target go? Have a habit of... I should probably get armor. I think I'm a gun, because these things have a habit of ammo racking themselves. combination right there. That is that is the drawback of running gas. Right there. That is the drawback of running gas. Because when you can cope with the broken engine, but the driver goes it's all downhill. I think we'll play another one after this. This is kind of terrible. I mean, I'm still fairly new, and 200 ping is a very difficult thing to play around, and excuses out of my butt, but... Because it's, it's gun, alright, if I'm going to complain about anything, is its range of motion is very bad. Can't aim down with it, obviously. <laughs> uh, the range of motion on the gun isn't all that good. Uh, any tank that has it, it honestly, if you've driven the GW Tiger, uh, that's what it's like. It's like having to recenter every five feet and then having to redial. This is this is not enough to hit fast moving targets. Because see anything doing like 
like from that distance, from that barn, any anyone doing like 40 kilometers an hour is like that. And because of server lag, uh, I have to be Jesus and read their minds somehow. So I imagine once I get this on live server uh, with like a 40 ping, I'll be fine. like a destructible. See, look at this, I can't even... See, I can't aim down any more than that. It's kind of sad. So bounce. You know, for a high pen gun, this, ba this bounces an awful lot in situations where the 15 with its 235 pens every time kind of annoying. I think it might be a product of me not waiting for the entire thing to finish aiming. Alright, here we go. <laughs> the damage on this thing is ridiculous. We're down two IS-7s already? Really? Okay, well they're down at T-110. IS-4 is hurting. We're not doing all that bad. It's beautiful. I believe I can turn my attention. To this over here. Who am I kidding? They probably don't know English. Yeah. Great power! Yes! I don't even care if I lose this one, to be honest. Five, four, three, two... Alright, let's see here. shot him right in the face with that one and no damage no damage if you're looking at this wargaming no damage in the face oh shit I wonder if these Amer these Arties are... No, they're Russian. I don't know why they're not going for me. Oh yeah, we're gonna lose this one, I think. I'm telling you, though, this uh, this tank is just ridiculous. Oh wow, we're actually going to win this. They're doing a good job. I wasn't in my my zeal. I wasn't looking at what they were doing down in town.
Now my reasoning for going after the 704 uh, first over that IS-7 is the 704 has higher alpha and I figured if I got a big hit on him uh, if he had survived thankfully our arty is good but if he had survived there's a good chance he would have went on to kill an IS-7 or something so eliminating TDs is always beneficial Let's see what's going on up here I want to play another one after this. This tank is just so addicting. Looks so funny from behind. Look at it. It's like... It's like someone strapped the refrigerator to the back of an outhouse and then put it on wheels. the silliest looking vehicles I've ever seen. Hmm. I guess you can just hit them anywhere, huh? That wasn't bad. here. Uh, it's probably been the last game. Maybe one more, but I don't think so. Well, let's do this one more time. Anyway, the, the lane drive really helps. Uh, I suppose you could also like fit uh, a toolbox in there instead, or optics, I guess. Uh, 500 base is really tempting, but on maps like this, the gun lane drive is really good. I don't know. I'd, I'm kind of fighting whether I should even bother trying to hit fast movers in this thing. And even actually dialing down. Oh, what is this? This is assault? I guess? I don't know. Town is a bad place to be alone, so we'll Let's see. get this show on the road. All of these places are bad places to be alone. Nobody is even going over there, alright. I'd hate to be artillery right now, there's no uh, buffeting zone. See, if you have 500 base, you can spot people from here to there, if you're here. Uh, and they're moving and negating their camo value because 500 base is pretty damn powerful. You can use it to um, You can hit 500 Base in a heavy tank or whatever uh, if you like slip in on their side Sometimes you can spot their arty after they fire if they're well hidden uh, It's really a big benefit because they don't they they're like oh well he's like 500 meters away He's not gonna spot me and then you light them and they die because weren't expecting it. Logic would dictate that I go all the way around. So used to turning on the, uh, the server crosshair, uh, the old way caps like zero, and now you can just have it on. Logic would dictate that I sit way back here. Dialing, dialing, dialing. the shit out of this wall. Something can shoot at me. Oh 
Jesus. This gun is amazing. That road's getting too uh, too crowded for me now. I don't already have them. <laughs> I hate that. Probably can't even speak English. Not that it's his fault, of course, living in Russia and all that. But it's going to bother me that he's going to die because I can't speak Russian. Or even type it on this keyboard, even if I did know. Something can see me. All right. So you hit that lamp post and sit here and make him think I keep backing up. Let's see if he knows better. See, in a situation like this, 500 meter revenge would would come in great handy. I'd probably be able to spot that guy no problem. It's not even over here anymore, so never mind. Shit, I could do one more after this, I think. This is a fun tank. <laughs> Most fun I've had in Tank Destroyer in a long time. I mean, I like the Yag Tiger and the Ferdy, but this... This is the Jumbo Ferdy. If you had a lot of fun in the Ferdinand in Tier 8, then... Depending on your rate of fire preference, you'll love this tank. Get your five hit points. The 54 is going for a ram. Oh! <laughs> Gotta shoot something, right? Alright, shit, let's do another one. I should be grinding my Ag Tiger right now for this thing. Should be. I don't have premium right now though. I don't, um... See, I just came back. And I'm not sure if I really want to spend money on this game right now. See, it's this map again. Never get any good city maps. Never get the maps Germans are good at. Never get this shit. This is medium in Americanville. See, if maps had more hard cover, I wouldn't care. Actually, I always play high aggressive. I think this time I'm going to do things a little differently. I didn't have much arty. Theoretically, I could just sit here until that other uh, jazzy hit me. See, they're moving way too much on the one side. Oh, silly me. See, I'm not, I'm not used to these new game modes yet. It only took me a minute and 
five seconds to figure out I'm not playing uh, flag versus flag counter battle. See, it's situations like this, like this game mode. This is a good game mode for uh, German TDs. In particular, you put the, you know the, you put the the gun lane drive on there, and it's good to go. See, maps like this, you're not very good with optics. If everyone's going for the flag, it's not. These aren't particularly good for defense either. You'd want like the American or the Russian versions of the tier tens because this this has a very bad habit of not hiding very well. It's bigger than most bushes. Uh, it has a very large gun, massive camo hit whenever you fire it. You're gonna light behind bushes even if you have fairly good camo skill and net. Uh, those driver skills really pay off though, I'll tell you that. mode lies. Dirty, filthy liar. Alright, let's see. I can hit this guy. Oh, yeah. Only time will tell if I hit the mark. Probably bounced. This thing really amoracks things a lot. Like, really really a lot. Hello. Jazz hands. This thing's got a thick-ass gun mantlet, too. Like, if you weave back and forth, it really increases your chance of not getting pinned when kind of hold down. Oh, I did hit him. I think I, I hit that guy over there. This thing. It's a beast. See what I mean? Shots just gravitate. I mean, it's like three quarters. Of, look, they're just they're just attracted to it. Like, I don't know what's going on, but. Oh, I should have hit him. It's entirely my fault. All right, we'll hit him this time. It's your ammo rack. It's probably about ninety-eight hit points. <laughs> this thing is great. Land arty. Land whale. It's actually pretty damn accurate, too. Why is it still alive? Kill it! Kill it, you jerks! <sighs> yeah, I did hit him. How about that? Alright. I think, I think I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. I'm gonna just check my stats real quick. How many games have I played with this thing so far? 19. 37% <laughs> win rate. I'm so terrible at this game. Damage per game is pretty good, though. I don't know. This thing's got a lot of... It's pretty beasty.